So what comes next? What comes after we are done with our modeling and analysis? And where we're going to go next for that is the RCDC. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and stop sharing my screen. OK, and hopefully that should make the slide view um, a little bit larger for you. If it didn't, please feel free to go ahead and, and maximize that. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about the RCDC. Now, today I'm not going to go through the full workflow for the RCDC. Um, obviously, I think just the tank wizard took us, uh, you know, the majority of time um, today. But basically, if you're not already using the RCDC, it's definitely the best platform we have for performing a full um, concrete design, including the ability to basically manipulate your reinforcement, manually specify reinforcement, and get full detailed drawings and um, bill of quantities or bill of material type drawings. Now, new in the STAD RCDC is the ability to design tanks. Right now, that's only available for the Euro code, which is the other reason why I'm not going through the full design process um, for today's session. Um, the ACI code is not is not yet available, but you can go ahead and take a look at the Euro code to see what that is going to look like. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and direct your attention. Now, this is the first time I'm actually showing a video live within one of our special interest group sessions. So bear with me. Hopefully it will be all right. I think I have to switch myself to like an audience view so I can see what you're seeing. So here, basically, one of my colleagues went through um, the process for using the RCDC. This is basically as a preview for you to go ahead and see, basically, how am I going to incorporate this workflow? Or whenever I show a new tool, I always like to show, well, what's the finish line going to look like? So I've gone ahead and uh, captured his video, added a little bit of information there. It starts with creating all the stuff that we did today, your analysis, all of that, and then send your model data over to the RCDC. That's basically the point that we're at in our workflow for today's session. Uh, he has a similar um, idea here. Here now he's entering all of his design settings. He can customize. He's using uh, metric units. Um, he's customizing um, his rebar preferences for detailing purposes later on. Uh, you can do that for all the different systems, so tank walls, beams, and columns. Again, if beams and columns are appropriate for, for your system. Uh, you can specify your material properties, concrete compressive strength, and steel grade. Again, if the media play or if the um, slide view is not showing your um, this video, go ahead and, and maximize it in your screen. Okay, he's entering his crack width settings at this point and basically customizing the design checks that will be performed. Okay, now we're moving on to loads. So all of those loads that were basically created in your STAD Pro model, you can see he here he did the same thing I did, just left that default load case, but he's not actually bringing it into his RCDC model. Um, he is bringing over all of his load cases and he is going with the same workflow I did where he's going to just add in his load combinations that he generated from his analysis software, which would be uh, STAD Pro or STAD Pro Physical Modeler. And now he's going in. So what he's specifically working on right now is the tank walls. OK, so you're going to mod you're going to do your tank walls and then also your slabs. Uh, you're also going to be able to do your beams and columns again if those are appropriate. Here, what we're showing is we're showing how you can kind of customize some of your design. After the design is performed, you can go ahead and customize it. You can review your section forces.
and then move on to your reports, which will also include your full detailing and also bill of quantities if appropriate. And again, this is specifically looking at the walls. Here we can see all of the calculations that were performed in case you want to verify any of that information. You can see here there is a little microstation icon available in the layout tab. You can use this to create your drawings. Those can be read by both microstation and also AutoCAD. Okay. Well, that's continuing to run. I'm going to go ahead and start taking a look ahead to the uh, question and answer window. So if anybody does have any questions or comments, please go ahead and you can enter them into the window. Okay, someone asked a question. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start going over some of the questions while the video continues to play. Hopefully that doesn't feel like you're, you're torn in too many directions, but we are starting to run low on time. So I wanna make sure I, I get to some of these um, here. Okay, question is, can you vary very fluid height examples and have cases for low water and high water for each tank for all possible combinations. Now, using the structure wizard as of right now, um, what you would do is you would just enter a fluid height for each system. Now, before this session, I did check with the product manager to make sure I can add additional things afterwards. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.